guys how are you if you're new how welcome my name is michelle and this is one of my mini series we are going to talk about uh, who's talking about you let's see who's talking about you behind your back who you need to watch about you know you know snakes here and there you know we'll figure it out we're gonna see who's talking about you behind your back with this said keep in mind that my readings have no date they are divinely guided everything has free will not everything's going to resonate with everybody and please keep in mind that rules give you a risk between you and your person and with that said let's move forward let's see um we have the seven of swords in that reverse we have the temperance in that reverse we have the king of candles in that reverse we have the two of cups in the reverse we have the page of present in the reverse the king of present which is pentacles the strength card leo energy the chariot cancer energy and overall please two for overall oh, three okay so at the bottom right here so I got a lot. So we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have very strong Libra, very strong Gemini on that. We have Leo, very strong Leo over and over. We got Cancer. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but focusing on Cancer and Scorpio. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. So it seems to be that um, somebody is... It's talking about you because you stand up for yourself. It seems to be that this person and you could have like a toxic connection, relationship. This could be also a friendship, but it's giving more relationship. It's, it's like somebody that you could have been like friends with benefits at one point. And this person is talking about you. They didn't like the way you talked to them last or the way like things ended. They felt like you overreacted in a way, shape or form. So they're talking about you not very well. With the king of can of of candles right here the, it's just like the king of wands right here this person is a fire sign this person is uh not very good they're making jokes about you also this person that you definitely had intimacy with this person is making jokes about your body with other people they actually are saying how they never really loved you or never or never cared for you um again they also are talking and this is gonna hurt and i hope like nobody re resonates with this part because i feel like this is horrendous but i know somebody's gonna resonate with this but this person that you had intimacy with that's a fire sign he or she is talking about your part they're saying that you smell like fish or that you smell bad so this person is talking this could be an ex as well um talking very badly about you uh every if you ever share an insecurity to this person because you trusted them at one point he or she is talking about that with other people and it's a it's a joke to them so why am i telling you this because they want to pop in back in december they're going to pop in back in december and they're going to act like nothing happened like oh little, little. don't give them a chance because they talked horrendously about you um they're coming back in um because they want to have intimacy with you but just so you know this person has not changed this person is not good as they have been talking horrendously about you um others of you uh this person is, is talking about your weight with other people like i said before as a joke and they said that you were too big it is also pointing out to be a fire sign they're talking about a the, it's either or a fire or a water sign here um this person is um talking about whatever you trust them if you talked about specific trauma that something like was bothering you some mental health issues or something like that they are making fun of that with other people and there's people of your people that you may know because this person may work around you or they have some they live by your neighborhood or they're like you guys could have like mutual friends because it depends right but it seems to be that they're making jokes about you you're like the joke of the town that's what i heard like they're talking about you so you shouldn't trust them anymore um they're also talking about um how you don't have a good relationship with your family if you trusted that to them um, they're making fun of that also they're saying that you're dirty that you're dirty that your house is dirty that's what they're saying 
and this is somebody who is oh, somebody who is represented as the lovers this is gemini energy somebody who again you had a thing and they're just bitter and salty that you know that they're no longer can manipulate you or treat you the way they want they wanted to so now they're just talking about you so poorly so badly whatever text messages you guys shared they're actually showing that they're showing the text messages and the conversations you guys had again they're showing that to people and with the five of needles in reverse and the ace of cups in reverse this shows that this person never cared for you and they're just being so mean it makes me so mad they're just laughing they're just laughing and they don't feel any remorse because they know this is wrong what else can you tell me about this person while they're saying We have an Aries energy. The Sun Leo Aries, Sagittarius as well. I see somebody who has a white dog, like a puppy. Definitely, I see this part. This is people who are laughing at you with this information that they're getting from this ex. Um, You're so sweet and innocent and they're making fun of you so badly. Um, they're saying that that you were a fool, that everything they promised you, you believed. Um, they're saying that whenever they want you back, they just can come back and get you. Because with the 701 spray here, it's pretty much they feel like they're saying, oh, no matter what I do, I can come back and she or he will take me back because it has always been like that they're also actually like having a game they're having a game of like oh i bet that if i text her or i text them uh they'll come over or they'll take me back or they answer me so if you know who this person may be because if it's giving like energies it seems to be that you guys could end it like very badly or you guys are not friends you know not, not even friends or anything anymore uh if they were to weirdly text you um I will actually recommend you to not text back because they're actually saying like uh, I can actually prove that if I want I can have them back and they're gonna text you just to get you to text and to go still and with the four of swords right here you are healing and from this person or situation that you should not fall back because once you find out that they're making fun of you for real like you're gonna find out whenever you do how the word you know walls have ears I don't know if you heard that but that's what uh las paredes escuchan the walls have ears that's what they said in puerto rico so or the walls can listen so trust me with the king of potions right here and the ten of potions right here i'm sorry the nine of potions right here it's gonna be uh very shocking as even though it could be that they could call you well drunk and they're gonna admit to you like oh my god ha 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 i've been making fun of you with this and that like it's nothing and it's going to be a moment that you're going to find the truth about them and you're going to actually not idolize them anymore you're going to be like oh you're trash because they are trash uh you're going to realize that they're just bad cancer energy i'm sorry capricorn energy i don't know why i said cancer energy maybe you're dealing with a cancer that's why it popped in my head but capricorn energy somebody who's mean somebody who is fake somebody who's toxic somebody who pretends somebody who pretend to care pretend to listen but they're not this person is gonna burn your house down and i'm talking about your emotional house um with the ace of needles they don't want as the needles don't want you to invest in them anymore as you think you're losing something no you're actually you're actually touching a bullet and with the three of swords right here i feel like oh my god this person the person who this is is either a libra gemini aquarius or it could be you and I see an emperor as well talking so shitty about you like it's nothing. And with the six of swords right here, whenever you find out, it's going to be very hard. So I highly recommend you to not invest in this anymore or to not even talk to them anymore. If you know who this person might be. But somebody who you dated or were intimate with that you guys, uh, it seems to be that you cut them off. It wasn't that they cut you off, that you cut them off. And they were not happy about that and they unfollowed you they like quickly and they're like oh it's okay that's the person that i'm talking about 
that is talking about you because they can't have you. And you know why they're talking about you like that, baby? Because look at that. They're hurt. They're butt hurt that you ended it. The five of cups, the butt hurt because they used to have the upper hand and you realized what was going on and you decided to cut them off. That's why they're talking about you. I also hear a uh, trick or treat. So maybe you're going to find out in a custom party that you're going to go and they're going to say, hey, do you hear this? And they're going to talk about and you, somebody's going to tell you that he or she's been doing this behind your back for it's the longest time since you guys broke up officially. And that's when you're going to realize that this person is fake. You need to stay away from them. And um, you're going to see that this person is a liar, a cheater, and there's no need to go back and fix anything. You may even thought about fixing it before or like maybe we can have a chance. You're going to realize there's no chances. There's no because you're going to realize that this person is a cheater, a liar and a motherfucker. So that's what they are. Anyways, with the um, hangman in reverse right here, they want you to actually do not lose your, your grip. Do not even... Um, go crazy on it because you're way too classy for that you cannot lower yourself to them again you can do whatever you want because you're an adult right but the universe is saying hey do not do that um at the same time they're saying to try to see things on a different perspective because once again you were idolizing this person even though that things did not work at the moment you say like oh he or she's a good person and you're gonna realize that no they were never a good person and they're just shit and this and they're just butt hurt that you dumped their ass and that's why they're talking about you they're not gonna post anything online what i'm seeing here nothing like that it's just more about in a group of friends just because they're about her because they can't accept that you ended things with them with the strength card right here is because once again they actually pretend they're strong but they feel like you pretty much you see that axe right here they felt like boom betrayed but don't worry about it because guess what? A lot of faces, a lot of masks are going to come off. You're going to realize who are there for you. Because some people that know you also know that he or she's been doing that for a minute. They haven't told you. But guess what? Everything comes to light even if it takes a minute. It seems to be that some of you are going to either always going to be trick or treat or around the holidays when you're going to find out this shit that they were talking about you and how dangerous how bad how shady and you and that you can't trust them it's like it's like the wolf that ate uh that girl with the, with the red cape forgot her name sorry too old to know that but either way you're gonna realize that this person that you so care for that seems to be a fire sign it's a sh it's a piece of shit my pieces of shit that i dump in the toilet are better than them so just flush them away. And I want you to not even worry because you're not going to lose any value. You are queen. They just, that was just a little man or a little female, like ignorant, immature. Let them have it because trust me, they're not making you look bad. They're making themselves look horrendous and so hard, broken and so but hurt. That's what they're making themselves look. So. Don't even worry about it. But I just need you to know that this person is talking about you behind your back. Um, I'm going to try to give you some initials right here to see. Let's see the possible initials of the person. I'm just making sure the time. Because <laughs> I got to do a live tonight. Today is Sunday. So keep in mind that this could be the first, last middle, or even a nickname. So we have VS and Victor, QS and Kessel, TS and Tyler, FS and Frank, AS and Apple, OS and Oscar, ES and Edwin, CS and Pat. Uh, I S and Ian, Z S and Zebra, W S and William, B S and Boy, and P S and Patrick. Okay, so this is the possible initials of the person. Not all the initials are gonna belong to them. Okay, and I want to remind you guys that these are entirely general. So don't go stressing out on me. As I said before, read the disclaimers. As these are completely general, take them as it is. If you want to verify or if you don't want to believe in it, just feel free to let go as once again this is entirely general not directed to anybody specific okay if that's that let's see what else i can give you um i'm gonna give you some 
spiritual animals cards to see which one is the one for you i'm going to give you some and you're going to actually try to find out the meaning of such spiritual animal the one that you feel the most drawn to okay so let's see what we got here so we have the frog right here you see it we got the bee we have the sea serpent we have the starfish we got the deer we have the beaver we got the stingray right here and those are the spiritual animals for you make sure to pick the one you feel the most round to and find the meaning of such animal spiritual meaning so with this said, as promised, if you want to win a free reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel as every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, I, I host a free reading giveaway. Once my channel gains the number that I need, I'm going to make a video explaining what kind of reading I'm going to be giving away as I always do them differently to keep it interesting um, because there's rules for that, of course. But the first thing is that you must be a subscriber. With this said, um, most likely stream my social medias. If you follow me on Instagram, I follow you back. Um, I also have a TikTok where I also do some tarot stuff over there if you want to follow me over there. I also have a small group on Facebook, which is a Facebook group. It's a tiny group, which is a private one to keep it safe. But once you request, I'll let you join. Um, I also have a new project still on the mix, which is a podcast. The link to the podcast is going to be on the description box below on every video. I'm going to be posting hopefully this week. I've just been busy with my son's school and whatnot. Um, also, I am open for personal readings, but everything has to be done by the website the website link is going to be always on the description box below on every video as well as in my instagram you can find it on my bio under book now you want to click the book now button and it will take you to that same website i do not take any requests through anything else no email no comments no dms as everything if you want to read it with me has to be done through that with the said babies i do not offer any free readings anywhere else besides the giveaways i do online here and if a weird account reaches out to you offering you any free stuff make sure to know that it's not me as i've never done that as i have my own website um with this said guys thank you so much for watching me please do not forget to like and subscribe and once again if you want to join my membership it's only $1.99 a month that membership gives you some special perks besides a beautiful batch but it also gives you uh, some perks to exclusive lives and exclusive videos for you guys so if you want to be part of them and enjoy them make sure to subscribe to my I mean so just subscribe to my channel but join my membership um with this said I'm going to leave now I love you guys so much have an amazing